Hello YouTube, today I made my first After Effects logo intro for my YouTube channel. So um, I want to show you how I did it. Uh, first of all, go to Video Car Pilot and download the Saber plugin. It's free. Download it for uh, your version of PC. After that, go to After Effects, and now we can start. We make a new composition in full HD, 10 seconds long. So first thing that we do, we select a new solid. For the color of the solid, I want to make it something like this. And that's okay. After that, click Ctrl D to duplicate it and now rename this one. Let's say particles. Now for the particles, go to effects and presets and type in CC particle system 2 and drag it here. Now when you go little forward, you can see where it is. So we want it here perfect now go to physics and go change the animation to the direction change the velocity value to 0 0.5 change the gravity to 0 now open the producer and change the radius X to 100 and radius Y also to 100 now we go to particle and change the particle type to a faded sphere now go to both size and change it to 0.1 and the death size also to 0.1 now our particles would like something like this is good let's change the birth size to only two okay that should be okay and now for the color of the particles I'm going to change it to something like like orange and that color something like this let's see and now I'm going to import my logo selected on the top so now let's pre-compose it with your uh, right click so 
so we will call it logo come make sure to make the, the jacket to move all attributes in the new composition now go to the layer and select auto trace copy my here my all presets you can see it here the toggle mask okay and now go to the effects and presets and type the saber and drag it onto the logo compra open the customize core core type select the layer mask now go to the preset and use what you would like to try so now we can try to animate it so we will make the value to 0% on the first frame and then add the keyframe on it now go to view frames forward and change it to 50% so when we try to play it it will uh, look like this well this is nice but if your computer is too slow to show you your animation you can go here and change it to half or something you like now go to the render settings and on the composite settings select transparent so let's see here now make a duplicate layer by selecting this and typing the Ctrl D now let's change the preset to something electric and then take the mask evolution by 180 degrees so this would look like something like this it's okay but I would like to change the color of it and make it something more and more orange more fiery But what I noticed is that uh, my logo is a bit too fat, too thick. So uh, let's go to the distortion and for the core distortion by the distortion amount let's use a zero is fine so I would like to go to core size and make it just one I think it's a little bit better now we will make a logo reveal so let's take any of our logo comp make a duplicate by 
Ctrl D and now just delete the plugin and now you can see your original logo now let's go to the effects and presets and search for the Venetian blinds now we will change the width size to 10 and the direction to 45 and the transition completion to the 100% and let's go to a few frames and add a keyframe go to the second layer and add a keyframe on the core size and do the same with the lot bottom layer as well now go to let's say one second forward and change the core size to zero the same with this one So when uh, we reveal our logo, in the same time the sabers will disappear. Now select all layers, press U to see all your keyframes. Well, I would like to give it a little more. Okay. Select all keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease them. Let's make now a zoom in, make sure all layers are selected and then go to right click so click pre-compose and let's call it logo animation now let's go to the first second hit S and make a keyframe now hit R, rotation, also go to the first frame and change the rotation to the negative 45 degrees, also change the scale value to 270% and now if you play your animation it should look something like this nice maybe 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 i should make it 250% so Again, open you select your keyframes and easy use them. Now add a motion blur to our logo animation. For this, click it here and here to enable it. So let's add a film bar to it. So let's create a new solid. Let's call it film bar and make it black. Now go to the effects and presets and search for the CC. Jaws 
its height change it to zero and the completion to 75% now our animation is complete and this should be all well it works for me thanks for watching and subscribe